What's going on my mighty kings and queens? Welcome back to another Mighty Influencer video. This video is a little different from my usual video, but it's still related to YouTube. This video is about how to get paid to game on YouTube with no experience, right after this. Welcome back to another Mighty Influencer video. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Malcolm and Mighty Influencer is all about encouraging, motivating, and inspiring you to become your best self, earn an income online, and grow your online presence. If this is something that interests you, we would love to have you join our community. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and tap that bell so that you don't miss the next Mighty Influencer video. All right, now let's get into it. So you're a gamer and you wanna show the world that you got mad skills. Well, show me what you got. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But in this video, I'm gonna show you what you need to do in order to get started on your YouTube gaming journey. The first thing, you need to figure out what kind of gameplay content you want to produce. Now, what kind of content is there to produce? Okay, there's walkthroughs, which are basically like showing people like what to do in a game, like if someone has a question, about something about how to defeat a boss or how to solve a puzzle, like that's what a walkthrough type of video is. The next one is reviews. Reviews are basically a review of a game. You got a game, you played it all the way through to finish, and now you're giving your review about the game. Another type is a humor type comedy skit game content. And what that is, is basically you would take your favorite games and you would compile clips from your favorite games and you would make your own like kind of movie out of that. This requires heavy video editing skills. So if you're not very savvy at video editing, I probably would not go for this one, but let's move on. Next is a type of content called Let's Play. And this is something that was derived from gamers just saying, let's play so-and-so. So basically you find a game and that you wanna play and you just say, let's, today we're gonna play Grand Theft Auto V or today we're gonna play The Sims. Um, and you make a video of you playing the game and you reacting to it. Another kind of gameplay content is eSports. Now eSports is very popular and it's also very competitive with people winning money prizes. That's just how competitive it is. You got games like Call of Duty, you got games like Overwatch, League of Legends, Fortnite. Just recently I think uh, there was a guy who won like a huge amount of money. It was millions of dollars. So that's a really really big competition and a really popular niche to get into if you're gonna do esports. Another kind of content that doesn't require much video editing at all is live stream. And it's probably the easiest one because all you gotta do is just go online and you're streaming and you're playing the game. And people are gonna be coming in to watch you live play the game. They're gonna be interacting with you. And it's a really good way to build an audience uh, kind of fast because people start to talk to you and they get to know you and they get to see how you are like live. Okay, so now that you know the kind of game content that you can create, let's talk about the equipment that you're gonna need. You're gonna need either a PC, a PlayStation 4, or an Xbox One. And if you happen to have a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One, you actually will still need a computer because you're gonna be doing some video editing. Now that you have your gaming device of choice, let's talk about how you're gonna show your face. Now, not all gaming streamers show their face, but there are quite a few that do. And to be honest, it actually works well in your favor if you do. So, for a PC, you're gonna need a webcam. A very popular webcam is the Logitech C920. It is a very popular webcam among gamers because of the very high quality, the amazing autofocus, and the wonderful performance and no light. Outside of the webcam, you can have either a DSLR or another kind of camera that you can mount on a tripod or on another desk mounted tripod pointed at you so that you can see and film your reaction. Now that you know how you're gonna show your face, let's talk about how you're gonna show your game. So. You're gonna need a screen recorder, and I don't mean pointing your camera at your screen and recording your screen. No, I mean an actual software that you can use to record your gameplay. On PC and Mac, there's a software called OBS, which is open broadcast software. It is free, you can download it at obsproject.com. With that software, you can capture all your gameplay footage, you can edit it, and then you can also upload it to Twitch, YouTube, gaming, either of those platforms. When it comes to gameplay on consoles, you're gonna need an additional device. You're gonna need what's called a capture card. And one of the best ones, the most popular ones out there is the Elgato HD60. 
This capture card will connect directly to your Mac or PC and it'll capture the content from your game and display it onto your PC so that you can actually edit it before you upload it to either Twitch or YouTube. The Elgato, it records in 4K, depending on which one you get, and it also does 60 frames per second. It also is compatible with other consoles, not just PS4 and Xbox One, but also the Wii U and the Xbox 360. You can even live stream with the HD60. After you got your screen recorder, you're gonna need a microphone. Now, most people, they use their headphones. If you have a gaming headset, sometimes that works amazing. You just plug it in and it'll like, once you set your mic settings and everything, you'll be able to hear yourself and your audience will also be able to hear you when you play your game. If you happen to be on PC or Mac, I would recommend getting a microphone that works on that. A few mics that I would recommend are the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti Nano, the Rode NT-USB, or the Rode NT-USB Mini. Both the Nano and the Mini are $99, but when you go into the other microphones, you're gonna be paying a little bit more. The Rode NT USB is 169, 180 bucks, and the regular Blue Yeti is around 130, uh, depending on what bundle you get. Next, let's talk about lighting. Lighting is important, but it shouldn't be the main focus. As long as people can see your face, then you're good to go. So if you have a regular light on in your room that you could turn on if you're streaming from your room, and if the light, or if you have like a disc lamp, anything that will just illuminate your face so that when you're streaming, your audience can see your face, that's good. You don't have to go into any crazy cinematic lighting because you're not trying to do any short films or anything like that. So just stick with the basic, basic lighting. Make sure that your face is lit and you're good to go. The next thing we're gonna talk about is completely optional and it's green screen. Let's say that behind you, you have a bunch of junk, dirty clothes, food, it just looks nasty. So you can get a green screen to actually put behind you and you could put whatever you want back there so that the audience doesn't see what your actual room or surrounding looks like. Actually, certain software comes with their own green screen um, software built in. So all you gotta do is just you know check a few boxes and you got yourself a digital green screen back there, a digital uh, projected backdrop there that's all computer generated. Now that you got your gameplay recorded and everything, you got it on the computer, let's talk about video editing software. Macs come with iMovie that's free, that's built in, but you could also upgrade if you wanna get like Final Cut Pro or Premiere, if you wanna get really technical and really advanced. On PC, there's Windows Movie Maker, as well as a host of other free or low cost video editing software options. Now, iMovie for Mac and Windows Video Editor or Movie Maker are very sufficient enough editors for the YouTube gamer that is just starting out. So as you grow and as your channel grows, you can totally upgrade to the higher level, more premium video editors. But for now, those should do you just fine. Now that your video is recorded and edited, it's time to upload, but before you make it public, you wanna make it private. Why? Because you wanna optimize your video. So that includes having an awesome title, a wonderful description, the proper tags, and you wanna have an amazing thumbnail. A thumbnail that lets people know the instant that they see that thumbnail that that is a gaming video. After you got all that, you can make your video public and then you can start to promote it to all your social channels. After your video has been up for a while, you wanna look at your analytics, your statistics, and see how the views have been for your video, like how long did people watch it, you know, did people just click and go away, you know, did anyone leave comments, did you get any likes at all? You wanna look at all this stuff because it's gonna make your next video better. And if you're not doing that, then you're basically doing yourself a disservice and you're not really trying to improve and grow upon the last video. Keep improving and improving upon that and soon you'll have 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers and you'll be ready to monetize your gaming channel and thus earning an income being a YouTube gamer. Woo! Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this content and would love to see more, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and share it with your friends and family, anyone you know who is interested in YouTube gaming. Also, don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so that you don't miss the next Mighty Influencer video. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.